Welcome to Box. Here's a few things you should know that will help you get started. First, go to Box.net and log in with the username and password given to you by your company administrator. Change your password by clicking Settings and then selecting Email and Password. OK, now let's take a look around Box. In this example, you can see that your company admin has already invited you to the Marketing Department workspace. Right now, there are five subfolders in the Marketing workspace. You can add your own folders or files, and they will automatically be available to everyone who's collaborating in that folder. To find out who else has access to this folder, check over on the right side. Here you can see all collaborators who are sharing and working in the folder. In this case, it is the other members of the marketing department. From here, you can send them a message and click through to see their profile. The profile is a great place to get more information about what someone is working on and how to contact them. You can see what they've done most recently, but only in the folders and files that you are sharing with them. OK, let's look at a marketing project that is currently ongoing. Here's a file that many people are editing. You can view all the comments and add one of your own. Click the blue arrow to see what else you can do with the file. Among other things, you can download it, upload a new version, or share it with someone outside of the marketing team. Lots of different people have been uploading new versions of this file. If you want to see or revert to an older version, just click the version history button. You can also edit these files online. Just select Edit Document, make any changes with the text editor Zoho, and click Save. When you close, the document will automatically be updated in Box. To share a new file with your team, click the Upload button. Select Add Files if you just have a few files to upload, or drag and drop if you want to upload a lot of files. When you are done selecting files, click Upload. All these files are now available to your collaborators. Now let's say that you want to share a file with someone outside of your marketing team. Create a folder and invite that person to collaborate, choosing whether you want them to be editors or just viewers. Everyone you will invite will receive an invitation letting them know to come see the content you're sharing. Another way to share a file or a folder is by sending a link. When the recipient goes to the URL, he or she will be able to download the file or folder. Now that we've looked at the All Files tab, let's look at the Updates tab. This will show you all the activity, new files, edits, comments, bookmarks, or discussion from the folders and files that you have access to. The Open Box tab is a list of all the additional services you can add to your account to help you do more with your content. Click Add Service to add the ability to edit spreadsheets, fax documents, get documents e-signed, and more. Make sure to update your profile with a picture and more information about yourself to help coworkers know what you're currently working on. There are lots of other ways to use Box, but this should get you started with some of the basics. To find out more, talk to your company's Box admin or send any questions to support at box.net. Enjoy your Box account.